yeah hi winners and uh, now i'm here to explain you very f important things related to the dental material subject so we'll be dealing some tables which are very very important in examination point of view uh, as this video will be there until you give the exam on our website <laughs> so no need to write notes but people who are very interested to write their own notes can proceed okay the first and foremost thing is uh, about the composition and the individual ingredient function of agar and alginate okay so if you go very deep into this uh, the main component that is present uh, in the agar is water okay water occupies the major percentage and it is also called as a reaction medium okay and it is a balanced one okay the main component the major component is water if water is not there in the options the next major component is agar so agar stands second in the composition of agar that is 13 to 17 percentage and the most commonly asked question what is the function it acts as brush heap structure in agar okay the next goes is uh the strength for agar you know that agar is the more flexible uh, the strength of agar is basically due to borate and it, its percentage is 0.2 to 0.5 percentage uh, and the gypsum hardener that is added to the agar is the sulfate its percentage is 1 to 2 and the fillers are the waxes that is 0.5 to 1 percentage and the last one is the gel that is added which is 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 percentage okay so all these numbers are very important the values are important and the functions are important okay so if they're asking a question on the composition the area will be from this so next goes is the composition of alginate so the major compo uh, uh, like the major uh, percentage will be occupied or the ingredient is diatomaceous earth that is 60 percentage and the next ask question is they can ask you like the major component is fillers how much how much percentage is fillers that is 60 plus 464 okay both this zinc oxide as well as this diatomaceous earth both acts as a fillers so which occupies 64 percentage and regularly asked question is the major component in the composition of agar or the major component in the composition of alginate is the most commonly asked question okay so next question what i have regularly seen that is 2019 and 18 need question that is uh, the reactor the reactor in alginate is calcium sulfate that occupies 16 percentage and the gypsum hardener hi again you get they have we have a different gypsum hardener we have a different gypsum hardener in the agar and we have a different gypsum hardener in the case of alginate so don't get confused and this is the most common area where they love to ask because we, we regularly get confused in this uh, that is potassium titanium fluoride is again a most commonly asked question okay so again this is an important area of NEAT and AIMS the, okay the retarder in the case of alginate is sodium phosphate okay so please do learn this read this practice this and it's an important area the function the major component is the first most commonly asked question and the second most commonly asked question is the function of individual component and the third most commonly asked question is the composition percentage hope you're clear and we are going to the next level okay so this table in elastomeric impression materials is is something like a godfather okay it's a most important thing and the paper setter cannot leave this and go to the next level okay so if, if if there is a question of course there will be a question from elastomeric impression materials in any sort of exam whether it's going to be a pga or aims or neat or chipmer you will have a question and the first choice to pick a question is from this area okay so before going into this okay make sure that the composition of all these four okay the four are important the composition similar to the agar alginate composition you have to learn about the composition the components that are present in this the activators that are present in this and everything that is required in the composition because we have seen multiple questions on this area of course we are going to discuss that part on the group but make sure that this classification and these compositions are very very important okay so the next one is before going deep into this table because you need to play 
with this table from all the directions okay the first thing that you have to make a note is about the sequence the sequence okay sequence based questions are nowadays common in the aims there will be at least two sequence based question in 200 of 200 marks of aims so this is an area where they can pick sequence based question of course if you open your basic mcq books and solve impression materials you'll find many questions on the strength properties working times and xyz related to this table okay the first thing that you have to make a note is about the sequence that is the first one is in the table is sulfate that is polysulfate the second one is condensation silicon the third one is addition silicon and the fourth one is the polyether okay so you need to make a note about the sequence and then you need to work on this okay the first one that we are going to deal is the working time okay so working time they have given question the working time of polysulfate is the question that is most commonly repeated that is four to seven minutes and rest all are on a range that is two to four this is four to seven highest and rest all are in a range of two to four you can see okay so they can ask you which of the following has highest working time the answer is polysulfate the next goes to the second parameter that is setting time the setting time also almost the polysulfate stands first with seven to ten minutes and this is a question that is already given in the examination and the rest all they have a range they see they are have a range that range is somewhere around four to eight okay no need to remember all those values but make a note like this is compared to this this compared to this this a question that they can logically ask you so highest for working time and setting time the polysulfide which stands first and the next one is tear strength the tear strength is highest again for the polysulfide okay and uh, the percentage contraction at 24 hours again polysulfate stands first okay so these are important where polysulfate stands first and the comparison and the order are important i'm focusing more on the questions which are already asked or questions uh, which can be given okay so you try to cover everything but make sure you don't miss what i'm stressing on next one i hope you know the contact angle okay the concept of contact angle to the wettability so the contact angle as the contact angle increases the wettability decreases as the wettability decreases the contact angle increases so so that so impression material having low contact angle are water loving our impression materials having high contact angle are water phobic hydrophobic hydrophilic is a regularly asked question it is just based upon the values of contact angle so if you go deep into this okay the least contact angle is for the polyether means it is more water loving which of the following is hydrophilic or which of the following is comparatively a water loving material then you can go for polyether as an answer and if you see the values that is 82 98 degrees and you have two values for uh, addition silicon that is 98 and 53 okay hope you're clear with this so we're going to the next level that is hydrogen gas release okay hydrogen gas release yes it is s for addition silicon where it is no the hydrogen gas is released by the addition silicon very good next one next goes is auto mixing uh, automatic mixing systems are available for the last two that is addition silicon and polyether custom tray can be used for polysulfide but not for the rest next one unpleasant order is again present in the polysulfide multiple casts with a single impression can be done with addition silicon and can be done with the polyether stiffness okay okay the value one stands the topper okay so the topper of the batch is the polyether which which stands first okay the next goes they share these values okay the last one is this okay i hope you're very clear with this and next goes is the destruction on removal value one indicates the greatest and value four indicates the least so value one is this two three and four these are uh, the most commonly asked sequence based questions okay uh, so make a note so please do learn everything whatever that is required from this table and just try to uh, practice this once or twice whenever you have time so that's going to increase your uh, capability to go with the right answer 
So next one is uh, the guidelines uh, or the disinfection protocols for the impression materials. Okay, so if you go very deep into this, uh, there are a few questions which are asked from this area, but make make a note. Okay, so the first one is how do you handle this alginate? Okay, so alginate uses only disinfectant for a shorter duration of time that is less than 10 minutes. And the disinfectants that are required for this are chlorine chloride or chlorine components and adiphos. And the comments that are added here are the short term glutaral head has been shown to be acceptable, but the time is inadequate for its disinfection. Means a glutaral head has to be used for a longer duration of time uh, for its effect to be the, at the best. Okay, But here in this condition, you are not exposing for more than 10 minutes. But uh, even if you are if you are doing this 10 minutes for clitoral head, the disinfection levels will be very, very less. Okay. <coughs> the next course, the next important area is polyether. Okay. And uh, even in the polyether also, the situation is for a short duration of exposure. And the material that is used is almost the same. And when you go with uh, Jedvoi impression paste, uh, either you have to do an I mean the preferred technique they can ask that preferred technique is immersion or you can spray uh, you can spray the disinfectant solution on the bite registration and the material that is used is glutaraldehyde and Ida force okay so please do add a note about this table this is not that important but it looks they can it look it looks like they can pick some questions and they can trap you okay so this is again an important area not a, a number based uh, area but it's very important so the next course is the properties uh, okay the properties of uh, the, the gypsum products uh, basically the types and their names are very very important i hope you are very good at this so i will be focusing more on the numbers uh, that are regularly asked in this area first of all is water powder ratio so as you move from type 1 to type 5 the water po by powder ratio it decreases okay they can ask you uh, individual values also that is uh, already they have given a question on this that is 0 0.5 to 0 0.75 is a water by powder ratio for impression uh, for impression plaster and uh, 0 0.18 to 0 0.22 is in a water by powder ratio for the dental stone, which is high strength and high expansion. And the next one is setting time. The setting time is least for the type one. And it is the same for almost all that is from type two to type five. It is same that is 12 plus or minus four minutes. Whereas for the type one, it is four plus or minus one minute. Okay, the next goes is uh, the expansion, the setting expansion. Uh, they talk both about the minimum expansion, the maximum expansion, that is two hour expansion. And specifically, you need to focus on this area in the minimum expansion because the minimum expansion is zero here, zero here, zero here, zero here. So the only material which has a minimum expansion uh, in the setting expansion values is uh, the type four dental stone, high strength and high expansion, which has a minimum. Okay, because it, it the word already says it is highly expansion. So the minimum expansion is only for uh, the high expansion dental stone that is 0 0.10 and of course you need to focus on these values the maximum expansion is 0 0.15 for type 1 0 0.30 for, for type 2 0 0.20 for type 3 0 0.10 for type 4 and 0 0.30 for type 5 okay so uh, they can ask you which of the following uh, setting expansion will be the maximum value or the minimum value. So basing upon that, you need to pick the option. And last but not the least is the compressive strength. Okay, the values, it increases from type one to type five. So they can ask the values and they can ask you to arrange them in the sequence. So make a note, numbers are very, very important in dental materials. For you need to remember numbers, the revision is important for to do a proper revision. Time management is very, very important for an intern or even if it is for a repeater okay so finally i want to conclude i'm very we are very happy the team of mds conquer is very happy that uh, we made our student has made all india fourth rank in the recent aims result and we are very happy to share this so the suggestion from my side is to make such great things okay for for great things to happen 
with us or in our life we need consistency okay we need a hard work oriented a little bit smartness is added we need such preparations but uh, uh, what what i regularly see in the most of online students is online students will not be monitored by the mentor even if you go in a wrong direction the mentor will not know that you are going in a wrong direction okay so you need to come out and talk with the mentor that sir i feel like i my preparation is not up to the mark in the last two or three days my preparation is deviated from the original path in the last one week or last one month then the mentor can help you out so dedication is very very important and the consistency is utmost important to be successful in life not only in an entrance but in any part of your life both the dedication as well as the consistency within a time are very very important factors to be successful so please uh, take such people these people uh, uh, into consideration or an inspiration uh, and start working towards your goals okay thank you all stay positive this is dr shrikant from team mds conquer okay love learning with mds conquer signing off